welcome back to another video if you are new here my name is chloe and i sell things on ebay to earn a living today's video is a clothing haul as you probably guessed by the rail don't mind my hoover in the background it just wanted to be in the video it's causing no harm let it be <laughs> i couldn't get a decent angle this is where we take photos um i'm actually in my kitchen funnily enough the opposite end of my kitchen where we used to have a dining table but we're a bit of a modern day family and uh, we are dinner in front of the TV. Ain't no shame in that. Um, so yeah, we got rid of our dining table and we turned it into like a bit of a photo area. So I decided to film here. However, to get a wide enough angle, it doesn't look great. The lighting's not great. I'm gonna give it a go and see how I'll get on. I can't really see much because I got these massive lights in front of me, but we'll give it a whirl. Right, so first up is this Oliver Bonus jumper. It's got this, what's it called when it's got a letter? Is it monogrammed? Is it a monogrammed jumper? Hmm, that might be wrong. Um, this is in a size medium and it was £3.50. Now everything that we got from Sense, a lot of it, for some reason the woman knocked down for us because we got quite a lot. And one item she also gave us for free. I'll tell you more about that when we reach that item. But yeah, it's this jumper with a monogrammed, I think, Al on it. I think it's white and gold. I don't know if the jumper is navy or black. I'm not sure. Has it got any good stuff in it? Uh, polyester, acrylic, a little bit of wool. But it feels very nice and soft. But yeah, I just thought, I don't really know whether it's worth picking up, but... I thought I would try it. Uh, next up, what is this one? Jigsaw. Ah, this was silk. That's why we picked this one up. And I think it was relatively cheap as well. £2.50. Um, I think it's grey. It might be blue though. Um, it's just this cow neck vest. And this front bit is silk. And yeah, because it was so cheap, I thought it'd be worth it. Probably won't get a huge amount for it, but maybe 15 uh, next up is apparently i'm just going to put that one down there i'm not even going to cut that out of the video because this is real life um next up is is women's golf like sleeveless polo i can't pronounce it i think it's glen glenmer glen not sure gonna show you oh no i've just realized because the lights are slightly in front of the camera when i show you you can't see. I'm going to have to fix that, aren't I? Because that's going to be really irritating all the way through. Be right back. Lord above. Sweet Lord above. Come on. Christ. Behave. Please. Okay. I'm back. Hopefully it looks a bit better now. I don't know whether I'm going to be too close to the camera now, but whatever. Whatever. Now you're not going to be able to see this because I'm just not going to be able to. There we go. It's not going to be the best, but there. it's Glenn Muir. Glenn Muir. And my husband picked this up and he researched it. So I don't actually know. I think he said about £15. Um, we paid £3 for it. Next up, I think this was in the women's section and it was in women's jackets. However, I'm fair certain it's a men's shirt i need to measure the sleeves it is joe brown's and it is a medium for goodness sake this video is not going very smoothly i should maybe just start again but i'm not going to because you can't start life again can you <laughs> really anyway it's joe brown's it's got a medium tag in and i know women's stuff in joe brown's is like numbered um it's very heavy and it's snap popper i think it's a men's shirt um but like i say i was in the women's jacket section and it cost four pound fifty so i don't know i don't know how much i'll get back on it to be determined because it depends what the item actually is really um if it's a men's shirt maybe 18 if it's a women's jacket maybe 20 so there's not really much in it 
Um, next is this Jaeger silk blouse. Very nice, actually. I quite like this. Um, I'm not sure what that is on it. Is it flowers? Not sure. <laughs> Either way, there's the tag. Uh, it was £4.50 in a size 8, but it looks like a quite a generous 8. Um, it's really nice. It's 100% silk, and I just thought it was probably a really nice piece going into autumn because of the colours on it. Um, I'm not sure how much it'll go for. I can probably safely say at least 15, but I'll push for a bit more. Uh, next up is a piece of hush. This was a, the first thing I found in this shop, actually. Um, it's this, like, I guess t-shirt dress, I would say. Um, is it sheath? Sheath dress? Shift dress? I get those two mixed up, sheath and shift. Uh, this was three quid. Three pounds for a hush dress. Like, stop it. They didn't know what they had. Uh, small to medium. I like it when they don't know what they got. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't know whether it's going to get very much money, to be honest. But push for £3. I'm not going to leave it behind now, am I? That would be a bit daft. Um, this is Bowden. I'm pretty certain it's pure linen. Or I wouldn't have picked it up. It's in a size 10. And I need to get this listed quickly, to be fair. Some of this needs to be listed this weekend. Um, this is a like i said linen really nice button down light blue skirt i really like this i think it's really pretty like imagine that with a really pretty little floral white black white or cream blouse and some little sandals i think it's really sweet and then maybe a little wicker bag or i just think it's cute not gonna break the bank maybe get about 15 a push uh this is a hobbs skirt oh how much did that cost sorry four pounds that skirt this is from a different shop uh, this was also from the same shop so this is four pounds uh this is like i said just a hobs just a bit of a boring work skirt but after summer a lot of people like to mix up their wardrobe a little bit their work wardrobe um and make sure they've got autumn winter pieces ready for work so well i guess that's why i bought it i don't really have an excuse i just picked it up i saw it and i thought yeah sure um i'm not sure what material it is it feels cottony um what is it it's viscose viscose 100 percent. so i don't know maybe again like 15 um next up bowden again i think yeah these are a pair of bowden trousers in a size 10 long they're feeling quite creased i can't tell if they're creased but they feel creased um they're just a white trouser i thought they were good for summer again they're gonna have to be listed very quickly um due to the crossover now going into like the transition going into autumn i mean it's only july but august finishes before you know it and people are looking for jeans and jumpers uh next is a pair of sea salt trousers they are in a size eight but they were four pound 45 and they got this nice now i don't know what this pattern is to be honest with you but it's a nice pattern <laughs> they're like little chinoy trousers they will say what trousers they are in them but that involves taking them off the hanger and finding the label and i'm not going to do that right now <laughs> because nobody really cares that much um but yeah they were four pound 45 and i'm sure i can get again like 15 to 20. uh next i'm going to show you both these pieces together because they're pretty much identical these are both jaeger linen skirts one is a bit longer than the other uh they're pure linen both jaeger quite frankly i think they look a bit like potato sacks however they're drawstring waist so you know that they're actually going to fit you really nicely when they're on um on the hanger they look awful so i'm going to make sure that these get photographed on the mannequin i mean they're going to be way too big for the mannequin because they're both a size 16 and she is not um she's only a 10 but um they're going to look really really nice like because they're going to tuck in like the perfect amount around your waist um, but yeah, again, quite nice for, one's just longer than the other, um, quite nice for that transition, like coming to the end of summer. And I think they were both £3, or was one £4? That one was £3, the shorter one was £3, and the longer one was £4.50, even though they're pretty much the same. But yeah, I, uh, I thought they were worth getting, because they were pure linen. Okay, this next pair of trousers I nearly didn't get because number one, I can't be sure that they're real. 
and number two they're an odd colour and number three <laughs> they're tiny uh, these are a scarred of sport I think apparently um I've just stood on something uh, hang on let's move that out of the way um they're in this lime fluorescent yellowy greeny neony I don't even know what colour to describe that as um I think oh I'm just gonna drop them I think they're genuine but I can't be 100% sure I will look them up properly I'll have a good look they're in size 36 which I'm not sure what that is um UK size but they look pretty small it says made in Morocco they've got like all the hardware is stamped and stuff so I don't know but they are teeny weeny itsy bitsy teeny weeny um maybe an eight maybe even a six but if I had Depop if I sold on Depop then that's where they'd be going because they are very Depop-esque I think um but they are pretty they're pretty sick I won't lie I don't have the confidence to wear bright green trousers though I'm getting too old for that now I'm nearly 30 for god's sake um this is oh that's a nice surprise I thought this was just all polyester um but I read it wrong this is actually wool and the lining is polyester uh this is just a vintage Laura Ashley dress the only reason I picked it up because it was three pounds um it's a it's a boring dress to be honest but again I was thinking like coming up to like uh words coming up to autumn winter people wanting to get their wardrobes like sorted for work and stuff um and it's just a nice basic staple little black dress isn't it it's in a size 10 possibly a size 8 depending i will measure it but yeah three pounds i reckon my money's pretty safe with that maybe about 20. this is absolutely stunning and i'm really sad that it's not my size this is in a size 12 petite I may squeeze into it, but I'm more of a 14. It's gorgeous. This is from Sainsbury's. Oh, I love the prints that Sainsbury's do sometimes. And this is a bit of me. I love stars, moons, planets, anything celestial. I am about that. And this is gorgeous. This was three pounds and I don't know, maybe 15. Might be a good one for vintage, to be fair and uh, next up oh this was the freebie this was quite funny actually because this is quite long this is a david nipa dress yes david nipa dress and i got it for free um it has like these lace long sleeves you see those are they showing up okay it's very heavy i don't even know what material it is i haven't checked yet um now <laughs> We tried to, I tried to argue with her about this and say, well, no, 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 like, I don't want it for free. Like, we'll pay for it. It's not a problem. Um, we bought quite a lot from this shop and we go into this shop quite a lot. And this woman was really, really nice. And she sees us there a lot and she gets excited when we come in because she knows that we spend quite a lot. Um, and we've got whole arms full of stuff. And I'm quite little and I've got one arm is full of stock that I've picked. My other arm has got my white cane in it to help me around um but also trying to look so this is dragging along the shop floor as i go collecting as you can imagine all the dust from the shop floor um which is fine so i was like i'll wash it when i get home no problem um and when i put it on the counter she was like oh that's filthy like you're gonna have to wash it you can just have that for free and we were like, no, like, we don't want it for free. Like, we don't want it for free. Oh, I've just found a price in it. It's £4. <laughs> um, there wasn't a price in the top label. It was meant to be £4 and we got it for free. Um, and we were like, no, no, we'll pay for it. Like, it's not a problem. It just needs a wash. And she went, oh, no, no, you're going to have to wash it. And you bought loads, you can have it for free. And there was other random stuff that she just randomly reduced. And we were like, oh, no, 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 you can have that for £1.50. Or, oh, no, no, you're not having that for that much. That's too expensive. Like i don't know what she was on she did say she was just about to move down south so i reckon she just didn't care um but yeah we couldn't even pay her if we wanted to so whatever we get for this day for dress is a pure profit um 
Next up is, this was another one that she reduced because she thought it was too expensive. Obviously she didn't price them. Um, this was meant to be five pounds. I can't remember what she reduced it to, but she took a decent amount off. This is a Jules Harbour top and it, I don't know whether it's showing very well. I can't see it, but you might be able to. Um, it says festive bird on it. Um, and it's now time to start collecting your winter knits and your Christmas knits and your Christmas tops because then you'll have a decent amount like coming towards the end of October that's when people are starting to think about it end of October once Halloween's out the way it's Christmas <laughs> in a lot of people's brains in my brain it's Christmas I'm one of those um so yeah I picked it up for five pounds thinking I don't know maybe about 15 back um but yeah she reduced it I don't know what to but we got it cheaper uh, this is my first piece of foot jewelry there's the label if you're not sure what foot jewelry looks like foot jewelry is golfing i believe i don't know whether it's predominantly golfing but it is golf um this is like a compression base layer top it is a women's in a size 12. i don't know how much i'm going to get for this to be honest with you i just know that foot jewelry is all right and it was 275 so thought i would give it a try this is also women's golf base layer and this is calvin klein I didn't even look it up, I just picked it up. I didn't know it was golf to be honest until I got home and my mum looked at the label when she came round today and I actually said, oh, that's golf as well. But I couldn't see that it said golf. I mean, you, you can probably see it right there that says golf, but because it's silver writing on a white background, I couldn't see that. I could just about make out that it was Calvin Klein, but I didn't see the size or that it said golf. Um, but yeah, it's got these nice little aerated bits on the like little mesh bits on the elbows it's just like a base layer i believe um or just a zip up golf jacket i'm not sure i'll do some more research but it was cheap it was three pounds so i'm sure my money will be pretty safe how many times are we going to say that today my money is pretty safe but that is apparently what i was going for uh, this is gorgeous my husband found this this is a hush jacket now we had a little discussion discussion at the till with the me my husband and the man behind the counter deciding whether this was a shirt or a jacket and i was like that is an over shirt that is not a jacket it's too thin and my husband was like no nah, no nah, it's a jacket it's a jacket it's got pockets and i was thinking he meant these pockets no he meant it's actually got pockets um and yet lo and behold he was right because it says jacket on the tag on the inside so yes this is a hush jacket i think it says size 10 this was £5.95 and it's like a really nice utility jacket. So I'm not sure what we'll get for it, but I don't know. Hopefully around 25 to 30. I'm not very good with Hush because I don't find it very often. Next up is this nice white stuff jumper. Again, looking for those pieces coming into winter, well, autumn. Um, this colour is beautiful. It's like this plum. No, it's like a berry, isn't it? It's not plum. It's got some good material in it as well. I do pick up white stuff jumper. Oh, it's beetroot. It is beetroot. Pick up white stuff when it's got good material. It's got a bit of lamb's wool, a bit of cashmere, a bit of angora. It's a typical white stuff that's uh, like a proper mixture of everything. My nose is really itching, so I'm sorry if I keep itching it, but it always does when I do a charity shop haul because I've got a bit of a dust allergy. Pretty much just allergic to life. Uh, this is phase eight. And I don't know whether this, I think this is a dress, you know, comes down to my knees. Um, it's like a, a shirt, a chiffon shirt, that's it. Um, floral paisley, I've just noticed that there is what looks like glue or paint on the sleeve though. So that's not great, but I'll see if I can get it out. It's got a cami underneath, size 12, and it was £5. Don't pick up a lot of phase eight, but... Thought I'd give that a go because it looked quite nice. I think it's a dress. The more I look at it, the more I think dress. Was it five pounds? Yeah, it's five pounds. Yeah, I think it's a dress. It's quite long. I'd say dress. Whilst we're talking about phase eight and dresses, um, my husband picked up this one. I put it on the mannequin because it's a maxi and I just wanted the background to look cute, I won't lie. Um, it's got really nice embellishments. They're not quite beads. Embellishments and it is really it's a maxi like i said it's got a really nice print on the bottom let me pick her up a bit oh sorry love it's got a really nice like i don't even know how to describe that but i really like the blue and the purples and the greens together it's like it reminds me of a peacock 
I do think I caused a little bit of damage to it, trying to squeeze it onto this lady's bust. Um, she's only a 10, but she has quite large tatas. Um, there's a little bit, I think I may have done that myself. There's a little bit of a uh, stretching, but I think it's a 10. Uh, maybe it's not. I would like to tell you, I would like to look and tell you, but I don't know. Um, this cost, how much did you cost? How much did you cost? What, pr what price were you? Bear with me. I don't know how much she was and I can't feel a tag anywhere. And now I'm just feeling up my mannequin. Um, I can't feel a tag and I think she was about five pounds, six pounds. But it's very pretty. Is she in the background? Does she look cute? Oh yeah, you look so cute. Uh, right, next up, we're nearly done now actually. I think this is white stuff. It's proper screaming white stuff at me to be fair. I'm very, I feel very energetic today. I've had two coffees and I think maybe that was just one too much. It's in pickle green, it is white stuff. And it's just this tunic. Is it floral? Yeah, I'd say it's floral, leaves, floral. Pickle green, tunic, maybe even a dress. It's got pockets on the front. Let's have a look. Oh, that is a dress, that's not a tunic, that is a dress. Uh, that cost us four pound and uh, probably about 15. Some of this will be probably better suited to vintage. What we got here, oh, this is gorgeous. If I wasn't so short, this would actually be staying in my wardrobe. This is a modern Laura Ashley, which I don't pick up a huge amount of modern Laura Ashley because it, there's just not that much value in it. But this is really pretty. This is a maxi dress, it's jersey. I'm just trying to show you the print, but yeah, because of how my lights are set up, it's not letting me get that close. It's like a floral, it's beautiful. And it has like a tie belt around the back. There you go. So it can really tuck you in at the waist. And it is long. I can't even fit it all in the screen. Oh, it's very long. Um, But yeah, how much did we pay? Five pounds, five pounds for that. And that is again gonna be one that I'm gonna try and get listed this weekend so that we can get like catch people before they go on holiday maybe. And yeah, that was five pound, just said that. Hopefully 20 to 25. And the last item of clothing anyway, we have, I've already done a separate haul for the other stuff, um, is this Jaeger Boutique. Hopefully you can see that. Brand new with tags, which I was quite happy about. Originally 180 pounds. Um, this beautiful dress in a size 16 is pure silk. It is floral. It's like a baby blue with like orange and yellow flowers and it cost me five pounds five pounds that's all this cost i think it's beautiful um i don't know whether jaeger boutique's very good but i thought it was a really gorgeous summer dress so i'm hoping that's gonna get about 50 pounds because it's brand new with tags but i have had two brand new with tags jaeger dresses in my shop for well over a year that don't want to budge and yeah so Hopefully this one will be different. So yeah, that is all the clothing that I picked up yesterday. Obviously not yesterday from you watching this, but yesterday for me. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps out my channel. Let me know down in the comments as well if there's anything that you would have left behind or do you agree with the stuff that I picked up and the prices that I paid? Um, is there anything that I picked up that you just don't think is selling very well at the minute? I've had quite a lot of those kind of comments lately and I've always found them really interesting. It's really interesting to see what other people are selling because things sell differently for everybody. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I think I've already said that. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye everybody.